I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factors and factorization. We're going to list all positive factors of each. So, if I was given this number, 30. So what I do with 30 is I try to just break it down in prime factorization for this. So 2 and 15, right? And 15 is 3 and 5, okay? But we're not really done here, okay? We have to list all the numbers. So we have to list all of them up to 30 that go evenly into 30, okay? Well, 1 is always going to go in there. Then 2 goes in because we know 2 times 15 is 30. 3 is up here, so 3 is going to work. What about 4? Well, what I look is I look at combinations of these numbers. Can I multiply any of these to get 4? And the answer is no, so I'm skipping that. 5, 5 is up here. What about 6? Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and we know 6 times 5 is 30, so 6 works here. 7, no combination multiplication gets me 7. Nothing with 8 either, nothing with 9. No combination, you can't repeat a number. What about 10? No. Well, yes, right? 2 and 5. 2 and 5 is 10, right? 2 times 5 being 10. 11, no. Nothing here multiplied to be 10. 12, no. 13, no. 14, no. 15, yes. Okay? And now I'm actually pretty much done. Once I get to halfway, there's nothing 16 times 2 is 32. It's going to be past 30. So the last number here is 30 because 30 is divisible by itself. And so here is our final answer, our list of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Quick recap. We're given the number 30 and we have to list all positive factors of it. Okay, I did my prime factorization and then I calculated to see which one combination with multiplied of the numbers that were given that could um, I don't know, get all the numbers up to 15, which is halfway. And I came up with 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. 